What's up, man? I shall now show you how to make Blender 3D text in like three minutes. It. Let's just go. Okay, right. So the first step uh, to do is you need to well install Blender. So I'll leave a link in the description for it. Uh, yep, it's free program. No scam here. You just click download Blender and then it downloads Blender and then you get Blender. Okay, so when you're in the program, um, you should be greeted by a default cube. Just right click and uh, delete it with uh, like that. Uh, and then after you should have your little plane, right? So uh, the way you want to do is you want to click add up here and then you want to click uh, uh, text and now you have your text So just click tab on your keyboard and you can edit it into whatever way you want uh, There you go. That's what I'm gonna write. Uh, yep, please subscribe for shit uh, there you go. No, fuck. Uh, there you go. Hey, please subscribe. Boom. Wow. Yeah, you should do that. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So now you have your text. You want to click the little A, A button down here. Uh, yeah. And then you want to get into geometry. And now you can make it 3D. Wow. So just choose like whatever, like, I don't know, whatever, whatever length you want. Uh, I'm to... And boom, you now have some epic, please subscribe text inside Blender. Wow. So now we need to make this actually like in the camera view because it's kind of not it's gonna just like out so what you want to do is you want to use the little cool wheel up here right and then you want to move it around like this this is this is how you move your camera around and then you want to put it into whatever position you want with like this, this thing and like you could just choose your position uh, you can zoom in and stuff uh, uh so i'm gonna i don't know i'm gonna choose this view there you go so this is what i'm gonna look at the, what i'm seeing right now is what i'm gonna have so i'm going to click on my camera here and I will going to click view and then I'm going to click align view and then align active camera to view and as you can see it has made my camera on the screen so then I'm going to click this and then I'm going to leave edit mode with the tab key and then I'm going to go to my camera and then I'm going to make the focal length a little bit back a bit with the camera button and then you put it back like that okay the next step to do is just to add like a plane or something so i uh, go add to mesh and add a plane and then go here uh you know, this is the camera view and then you want to make it like big with the sk like that uh the sk makes it scale it and then you can pull this down like this and now you have some epic text like that and then you can click this button up here and now you can uh, see it in real time your funny text right so uh yeah here's your funny text and i'm going to Make the colors different so i'm gonna click on this little wheel and then click this and then pull this down and as you can see i have some epic text i'm gonna rotate it a bit with the rotate button and then uh i'm gonna i don't know uh, oh, that looks good yeah sure bro uh and then i'm gonna give it a real cool uh texture i'm gonna give it like a I don't know, orange so there we have our please subscribe text and it looks beautiful i'm gonna give it a, a font so you want to click the a button and then you want to scroll down until you see this font and then you click it and then you and, and then, then you, and you see regular and just click the fuck the folder icon and then you go find an epic font i don't know this one looks good oh look there we go we got some epic text wow and then click s to scale it up and wow we have please subscribe text now so we have some please subscribe text click this button up here the cool like fucking tv thing and then i'm gonna change my render engine to cycles there we go and as you can see i'm rendering it in real time so how do we get this from our blender program into a photo you want to click on uh see this uh the photo thing you click it and then you want to make it and then you want to click this folder thing and then you want to uh, put this to whatever you want and then you'll click, i'm gonna put it to my downloads there we go my downloads so there you go, my output is now my downloads, and then uh, I'm going to make sure this file, file format PNG, and then you can render it. But I'm not done yet, because I'm epic, and I make things look a lot better than what they already are now. So I'm going to actually add a light area. Boom, here is a light area. I, I added it, and uh, I'm going to move it like this, and I'm going to put it uh, above my text, like that. And then I'm going to pull this thing, and I'm going to rotate it. Uh, so it's like pointing at my text and as you can see it's kind of like a light source right so it changes the light uh, for the uh, thing and then uh, yeah so boom we now have some cool light and that and now I'm gonna make it a lot brighter so I'm gonna uh, click the area up here and then I'm gonna make the I don't know brightness a little bit bigger boom we now have some please subscribe text and now I'm going to render it with the render button and then render image and then boom you now have some epic text that you have just made in blender um in like what i don't know four minutes or something 
Wow. See, look, that's like insane. And then you can uh, go and save the image. You gotta wait for the uh, it, it to render though. You gotta you gotta wait for that. You can no one there's, there's no way to get around that unfortunately. There you go. Please subscribe to my channel. It's so epic, man. I'm such a cool person. Share this video to your GFX friends that make funny 3D text in Photoshop all from scratch just so they could save time. Bonus tips. If you go to the material properties of your text and then scroll all the way down to emission and then you put this really bright to like some color or something and then after that uh, put the emission strength up, you can make your text glow. Also, make sure to come to here and turn on bloom and uh, screen space reflections and motion blur and make sure you're an EV. And then boom, I now have a glowy text. Wow. Okay, next tip. Okay, if you mess with your roughness of your uh, on the material properties of your text and the metallic, you can make your uh, text like all shiny and stuff. Look, wow. This pad with like a look real cool light makes it look real nice. If you want to upgrade from a 3D image to a 3D animation, I have already made that video. I will link it to the end of this video or I'll put those funny card things and you can watch how to make this move and then make it like that. And now you can make this into a video. Okay, bye.